There's a Jesus there. TB Joshua, I see, Joshua there. I see Elisha, there's Moses. Hi, I'm Pastor John Arnott from Toronto, Canada. Before God poured out His Holy Spirit on a church in Toronto, Canada, over four and a half million people. My name is Pastor Kunarula and I came from India. Please subscribe, share, like. If you want more videos, please hit the notification button. Love you all. Thank you. Hello everyone. This is Emma from Tema. How are you all doing? Like as usual, I know God is keeping you all safe and I know we are all doing fine by his grace. Today, we are going to talk about people you may not have known that their ministries have been impacted by our prophet T.B. Joshua. All around the world, there are people who have come to Skuan and we did not even know about them. But when they return home, they start doing similar miracles that prophet T.P. Joshua used to do. You watch them. The first one is V.C. Sita, a young prophet from South Africa. You can see the way he built his place and how he conducts his ministry. It's very, very similar to our prophet. A lot of people come to him for deliverance, healing, and, you know, online prayers. You can see what God is using him to do too. And a lot of the time when demons manifest, they mention our prophet T.B. Josh. Watch them. If I know that some of you, when I'm holding this picture, I don't like it. But I'm the son, I can't change. There was a man who was connected with me spiritually. For you people to know me today is because of the senior prophet T.B. Josh. So you people, the reason why today you know me and you see me doing what I'm If it was not the prayers and then the prayer of the sinner prophet, I don't think today I was supposed to be where I am today. The whole world today, they know me, they celebrate me. You people who know me, you celebrate me. My head is not touched by any man. Only sinner prophet T.B. Joshua is the one who prayed for me. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, you are God. You say what? Send this boy there. Jesus is calling him. Where? There are prophets there. They, they are waiting what? for that boy. There are prophets. Jesus, Jesus. Where's Jesus? There, at that chair. At that chair. There? Yeah. He's waiting for this boy. There's a Jesus there. TB Joshua. I TB see, Joshua there. I see Elisha. There's Moses. Eh? There's you know, there are prophets. They are surrounding that place. They are surrounding that place. Take this boy there. Oh, okay, take it easy. Take it. You say, you say who and who there? There's, I, I see a name. It's more like, it's more like TB Joshua. I Just see. There. I see. It's like they are sitting, but I can't see it clearly. And it's like there is a man standing by. There's a TB Joshua there. There's a Elijah there. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. It's not me who said there's a TB Joshua there in the altar. It's not me who said that there's an Elijah there. Don't go there. I don't know this boy. It's the first time for me to know him. To know him. Don't say that ah, this prophet. It's not me. But can I open your eyes? Amen. <laughs> Can I open your eyes? Amen. Even do you want to see what is there in the altar? Amen. Oh my God. Ah. Mm. All of you turn like this. Go there. Turn. Turn. Ashes. You see? You see? You see? You see in the altar. You see? 
Even if you, every day you sing, 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 you don't know what is there. Look there, look there, look there. Look there, look there, look there. You will never know what is there until your spiritual eyes is open. People, they don't know. They don't know what you are carrying. They are disturbing us in our kingdom. You are disturbing us, Zita. Why are you I hate Mama Evelyn? I, I don't want that woman. You know, we Why? thought the school is closed when the husband passed. But yo, now it's more fun. Now it's worse. What they Mama Evelyn? Is. She's scary. It's from heaven. They don't know. Isn't it? They are stupid people in this world. Very stupid. Support. They the give all of the so this the one monthly. they want to get papers so that they support Mama, Mama Evelyn. So that they support you, 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 you. This way, I'm it's going to no every paper. No it. paper is going to come out for them. And then Prophet Kobus. He's also from South Africa, but he's a white man. He's uh, passed away now, but his ministry is still going on. He had a very big church and you can watch it. They saw a lot of manifestation of the Holy Spirit and healing there too. It was only after the personal encounter with the Holy Spirit at school. You can watch him uh, from the video that uh, TB Joshua was writing in tongues on the board, you know, and the guy who came to lay his hands on the board and he was slain in the Holy Spirit, he fell on the floor. Sometimes when you speak in a tongue, I just look at you. Sometimes when I hear you people speak in a tongue, I listen. I can, I can write a book with it, but nobody to read. <laughs> I'll write it in English and I'll translate it well. Holy Spirit will speak through through us in language which we have not learned. <coughs> we'll speak in language You don't read it, just touch the language and see what will happen to you. Ah. I'll call the language now. Sarissa, Arissa, Arissa, Now, if you now set it to anything can happen. Bless, 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 bless. Others, however, say Joshua is a true prophet, an anointed man of God. That's it. You look like a hunt in the house. He says he's been blessed by Joshua and ordered to continue his miracles in South Africa. This is Lofdal, his church complex in Stolfontein, where he preaches and heals. I love him and I uh, acknowledge him as the greatest man of God I've ever seen. I appreciate Two o'clock in the morning in the lounge, we were just praying, talking. Oh, not much. Not much, but it's there, you see? It's not much, but there it goes. The little bit that's there. Oh, it goes right past. My goodness. There it goes back. Free. Blessed and prosperous. Oh, lots of pain. Just sit back. Okay. God is healing your prostrate gland. You're not going to suffer with it. It's going to be fine. The pains you get in your hips will also go tonight. Okay, so you've got a lot of pains in your hips. It's going to disappear and the Lord is going to heal you. Your hands is not what it's supposed to be. Is it true? You say, Lord, I want my hands back. That's what's your prayer. 
I see it. God says, I'm hearing your prayer. Your hands will be strong. Okay. Just lift up your legs. Oh, there's a good one to see. Can you see? So look at that leg, sir. Jesus is healing you. Look at there. Mm. Mm. Look, it's coming right. Choom. Now the pain will be gone. All pain. Pain better. Yeah, I feel better. You feel better. Mm -hmm. Father, I thank you that the pain right here in the center of his blades will go tonight. All that pain will go in the name of the Lord Jesus. At night time when you want to fall asleep, it's like you can't breathe. It's like something heavy is pushing you on your chest. Yes. Is that true? Yes. I'm going to remove that thing. Father, I thank you that this will be removed. It's not going to feel this heaviness anymore. I set him free in Jesus' name. Bless you, sir. And then John Arnold from Canada, you know, airports road i've been there once they had a revival there it was after they came to synagogue because i have been there and i know it was after they came from synagogue airport vineyard revival was all over the american churches it's a historic revival in north american churches they mention it all over the america continent and they have so many songs from vineyard yeah, some people don't know he went to Squan Fest, but he did. Hi, I'm Pastor John Arnott from Toronto, Canada. And uh, we're just thrilled to be here. We're just amazed and worshiping and thanking God for all that we're seeing him doing in your midst here in Nigeria. In Canada, we need healing miracles. We have three or four people in our church who come every week in wheelchairs. We prayed for them many times. They have not come out of those chairs. That's why we're back in Nigeria. We're saying, oh God, oh God, we have to have the power of the Holy Spirit. Yesterday, it was our privilege to meet with your pastor, Prophet T.B. Joshua. He's a man of God. There are many millions of Christians in the world. I don't know anywhere where you can go to see so many healings like you have here. I don't know anywhere. My wife and I have visited maybe 40 nations. We've, we've been to uh, Egypt, we've been to South Africa, we've been to Japan, we've been to Indonesia, Korea, Europe, and many places, Germany and England. I, ha I have never seen the healing power of God, such as you have here among you. May 20th, 1994, God poured out His Holy Spirit on a church in Toronto, Canada. Over four and a half million people came from all over the world to experience the Toronto blessing. John and Carol Arnott are still helping to light the fire of revival worldwide. People continue to embrace Jesus as their Messiah, receive supernatural healing. <laughs> Tell it with joy, Jesus. Bless you, Robbie. Bless him, Father. Bless him, Father. Fill him with your great and awesome love. In Jesus' precious name. as Holy Laughter. Members of Pastor Arnott's ministry team pray with visitors to the vineyard, who then, for no apparent reason, burst into fits of uncontrollable laughter. This, to me, feels like the glory of God. What, what do you think, Carol? Yeah, it's really electric, and it's heavy. Ah, and I love that heavy. 
okay, I, I want to learn something. Maybe we can have an usher bring that third, the third woman from the end. Bring her up here for a minute. I want you to bless her. Okay. What yeah. is going on with this woman, John? Yeah. Well, the outside of she's hardly able to walk. <laughs> you know, when the presence of God comes on us, it's debilitating. We're riding our normal <laughs> way to do it. Fire on you. <laughs> so and so it's, it's called impartation where the mm. glory is passed from well. one to another, you know? Which one? Donna, Donna. come on up here, Donna. I, I, and, and, and catch her, you have to be alert. God moves quickly. <laughs> Donna, catch. Fire on her, Lord. Whoa. Yeah. Well, you're, you're very athletic, but catch her next time. Yeah. <laughs> catch her. Right here. Right, give me another catcher. Give me another Fire catcher. on him right here. <laughs> and again. Apostle Anka Joseph Norula in India. He has a big, big congregation. It's not a joke, and God is using him too. He, fe he first came to Skoan when he was younger. They have prayer meetings, prayer, mountain, everything similar as Skoan. God is using him greatly over there yeah. too. My name is Pastor Ankunarula, and I came from India. And this is my first time to the synagogue, the Church of All Nations. Ministry name is the Church of Signs and Wonders. Uh, I know about synagogue before when I was new in ministry and uh, 15 people, 20 people are co was coming in my church and I have lots of problems. But when I started to follow this ministry, started to listen the sermons of man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, suddenly my church started to grow and with 15 to 50 and 50 to 500 and 500 to 4,000 in two years, I'm so grateful, so blessed by this ministry. That's why I came today here to thank the man of god picture dikhana chahta hu mere spiritual father ki jo parmeshwar mein घूमगेपन का कारण है और आप बोलेंगे हर वो आत्मा जो आपके उस संघर्ष का कारण है बोलो उस संघर्ष का नाम लेके बीमारी है कर्जा है ट्रबल है वो क्या है टच करते टच करते फाइनेंस को टच करते 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 परिवार को फैमिली को टच करते टच करते टच करते वो सारे संघर्ष नाम लेके बोलो और मैं कमांड कर दूं उनके पीछे सारी आत्माएं निकल आई यीशु मसीह के सामर्थी नाम में मैरिड लाइफ को टच करते टच करते टच करते टच करते बच्चों को टच करते 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 बीमार शरीरों को टच करते टच करते टच करते टच करते टच करते टच करते नाम लेके बोलो वो आत्मा जो संघर्ष का कारण है कमांड करो से आउट कमांड करो कमांड करो कमांड करो कमांड करो कमांड करो जब गूंगे में से निकाल देगी गूंगा बोलने लगा मैं आपकी लाइफ से उसे निकालता हूं यीशु मसीह के नाम में आपकी बॉडी से सिस्टम से फाइनेंस से दिमाग से घर से बच्चों से आउट आउट सुनो चर्च आज हर वो आत्मा जो ट्रबल का जो कलेश का जो कर्ज का कारण है अपनी फैमिली से अपनी लाइफ से अपने हाथों को उठा लो आउट आउट आज फायर भेजो 
फायर फेंको लकड़ों पे फायर व्हील चेयर पे फाया बीमारों पे फाया होली गोस 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 फाया अपने हाथों को उठा के हर वो आत्मा जो बोलो मेरे परिवार में होली गोस जितने भी सूखे हाथ हैं सूखी आंखें हैं सूखे फाइनेंस हैं सूखे जीवन है सूखे मैरिटल लाइफ है टच कर दे उनको टच कर दे 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 टच करो टच टच कर दे 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 परमेश्वर के सामने से टच कर दे 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 परमेश्वर के सामने टच कर दे एक एक जन को सामने टच कर दे टच कर दे टच कर दे टच करो टच करो टच करो टच करो टच करो फैमिली को टच करो बॉडी को टच करो सिस्टम को टच करो फाइनेंस को बोलो हर अंधकार की शक्ति आउट कम आउट कम आउट कम आउट कम आउट कम नाट करो And then Prophet Magaya is also from Zimbabwe. He also visited Skwan for his ministry. And now his ministry is a big one. These are the prophets, preachers, apostles that we do not know about. But through T.B. Joshua, their ministries are going the way it is, running like T.B. Joshua's own. And there was a private relationship, which you may start to know today. 20 Golf was my first time to go to Nigeria. I went in May. You know my story. I wanted an answer of which project I should do. Saw him for three seconds. Came back. I had no answers. But I came to start the ministry. I kept on going back until one day I got his audience in 2013, January. As I was seated with him. He put out this ball under his table. This is 2013. Then he wrote, and I asked him, Father, I can't read what you are writing. He said, I'm writing in tongues. What I'm saying is, you're going to sponsor, you're going to assist many people. I laughed because I was broke. And he said, what I say will come to pass. No! 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 
you. Hey, hey, why? I break every yoke. In Jesus' mighty name. Please, Mama, hear me. Save the eye that is left. Please use this water of life daily. Please, hear me. I want to share with you my experience of the walk through altar right here at the other hotel. The man of God came in the hotel and asked us to pray. When we were praying, I just started manifesting. Uh, when I was taking him there, I don't want to lie to you, people of God. I was just making a lot of noise, taking a lot of things. It was just like a war in the altar. Um, up until when I got delivered. Makaya, you captured me since 2015. You gave this boy a wristband. What do you call that, that zapper? Since 2015, he captured me. Last year, I wanted to destroy and finish him. Your own people, your one of your mothers, invite this boy to sleep at her house. Then he was reconnected with you. Why? Why, Makai? You have finished me. You have destroyed my territory. You have paid my everything. Two, two. I don't know. Let him prosper as you want. Let it be close to you and your people as you want. Goodbye! Goodbye! Bye bye! Bye bye! Bye bye! Bye bye! Bye bye! Bye bye! I'm going! I'm going! Yeah! 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 I'm going! Clap hands for Jesus! Clap hands for Jesus! Clap hands for Jesus! Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Lord. After entering the walkthrough altar, listen to these testimonies. Be encouraged in the Lord, knowing that if they are testifying, you are testifying as well. In Jesus' name, amen. Spirit is a multi-purpose spirit. The same spirit that delivers is the same spirit that heals. It is the same spirit that uplifts. It's a moment of deliverance um, as well, healing happening at the same time. I mean, this is the beginning of a mighty testimony. Clippings for Jesus is an amazing God, is an amazing God. And amazing? then Pastor Vlad from uh, Hungry Generation, we know, is from, he came there too to visit. Prophet was connected to them to help them in so many ways. And even Pastor Vlad said much about to be our prophet. Our prophet, I suppose, um, up to the ministry of uh, deliverance. Now you can see that is their main thing in the church. That did too. Many years ago, our pastor went to Africa, to Nigeria, um, we were in a very difficult place as a church. Um, he was also in a very difficult place personally in his family, in his finances. And if I'm not mistaken, I think he just finished a 40-day fast. And he went to Africa to see T.B. Joshua. He watched him online. And when he arrived there, he received a prophecy that gave us like ammunition to fight against the spiritual forces that we felt were attacking our church. After that, we took a trip of just 13 of us to Nigeria and we were really impacted by the ministry there and then they had their first anointing water conference here in Pasco actually in this building first anointing conference in the United States and TB Joshua gave us the anointing water for people who couldn't go to Africa so we can pray for them our monthly prayer lines started by us praying for people who could not go to Africa to be prayed by TB Joshua and so we had the water and so this is where we got the practice and people were manifesting healings were happening some of you can still see those things and then we got to the point where we actually organized trip three times a year to the ministry of prophet tb joshua he did that first crusade here called revival with wiseman harry at the track and so many people were impacted and so many people were touched we have people in our midst today who are a part of our team who went to live there 
some who are not with us here physically who lived there for more than 10 years and who were impacted by that ministry so with that said there's a verse in Luke chapter 9 verse 49 it says now John answered and said master we saw someone casting out demons in your name and we forbade him because he doesn't follow with us it's interesting because in the same verse disciples in the same story earlier disciples couldn't cast out a demon out of a boy who had demonic problem yet they already were experts on who shouldn't be casting out demons how was your life like before your uh, deliverance so my parents had me as teenagers so my dad was a gangbanger never around uh, my mom was a party girl never to be found living with my mom she had a drug dealer boyfriend so i was raised in a trap house which is where drugs are packaged and sent out so i seen drugs all over the kitchen counter all over the table bedroom stand everywhere at the age of like three, five, seven, it was. So around the age of 10, depression started to kick in. And by the age of 12 and 11 years old, it was in full effect demonic. I would hear voices to kill myself. I would drown myself and have no control. And I'm telling myself, Christy, you're gonna die. Stop drowning yourself. And I could not stop. I would bite myself and same thing. I would be like, Christy, you're hurting yourself. This, this hurts, stop doing this. And I couldn't do it. And at times I would look at myself in the mirror and I would tell myself, if you tell anybody, we're gonna kill you. So I was terrified to tell anybody what was going on with me because I was scared that whatever was going on and controlling me, that they were gonna kill me. So at the age of 19, I followed in my mom's footsteps. I met a drug dealer boyfriend. I went to go live with him, come to find out his family is in full effect witchcraft. I seen it all over the house, like just weird things then i came here and i told him i said nothing's gonna happen like i already started being delivered at home sure enough <laughs> craziness happened <laughs> and so what did you experience during the deliverance so during the depression i had about like 200 voices in my head some in languages that i didn't even understand so when i started to manifest it was like all the voices that were in here were now speaking and manifesting and i could hear the voices out loud and i had no control over it and i remember beforehand they said just surrender just surrender to the holy spirit let him do what he has to do and remember in that time i'm so scared while i'm manifesting and i could hear jesus speaking to me just let it happen christy i'm setting you free <laughs> Come on, this is so awesome. Woo. Prophet John from Singapore, he does online deliverance too, and also visited Squan. And from then, he does ministries online, taking it up to the level that he is doing all kinds of things for the glory of God. It's all because he came to Squan and he carried it all on. He is very serious, very, very serious with the work of God, which is very good. Emmanuel, God is with us. Uh, I'm here to honor the life of Prophet T.B. Joshua. I am not ashamed to associate myself with him. You know how many pastors and churches have denounced him. Even in my own country, the church that he visited back in 2006 has already deserted him. And I see him as my mentor. I would not be here today without him um, because it was through him that God uh, started to transform me. Without Eli, Samuel would not have known the voice of God. So also without Prophet TB Joshua, I would not have known how to communicate with God. Without Moses, Joshua would not have found himself busying his life with the works of God. So also, without Prophet T.B. Joshua, I would not have found myself um, being so devoted and so loving towards the affairs of God. I'm seeing an earthquake, a kind of tremor that will cause the people a deal of harm. So you will see it not long hence because I'm seeing it is coming 
very soon. Why put my name at stake by giving such world prophecies? Why in the past I said that the war between Israel and Gaza will end in five days time and exactly five days later it ended. Back then there was no sign that the war would end. The war was still enraging. But God is faithful. This is why I'm able to be confident to say such words to the world. <笑>我覺得頭頭一兩兩兩到好多年了。出來。我說倒下來,倒下來。倒下來。Mighty this is Two marriages. She has only one man in her in her life. Is that the man has another another home with another wife? He went ahead to marry to a, a third wife. Uh, this polygamous issue it does not just begin with her. It also stretched to her grandmother. Oui. Yes, wait, wait. Okay. If you study the life of your grandmother, she too has this polygamous issue. So now it's coming down to you. But I pray that this curse will be broken from you. This is the cause of the thing that you're facing. Once we deal with the root cause of the curse of polygamy, okay, we find peace in our life. Now, you watch all these people and know where they started from. So, you watch the video with me and you comment on everything that you see. See what God is doing with them. So you can tell if it's not part of TB Joshua's ministry. It's all because they were part of TB Joshua. And that is why they are doing what they are doing. Thank you very much for watching these videos with me. And God richly bless you. Emma from Tema. Love you all.